Just a friendly reminder that the opinions expressed on this show are not worth a Canadian penny, so disregard anything you hear that might get anyone in trouble. And despite some of the great ideas you may hear, don't try them at home. Go to friend's house instead. It's time to get a gun. That's what I've been thinking. Well, I could afford one. And if I did just a little less drinking, time to put something between me and the sun. Get a gun. Welcome to Slamfire Radio, episode 531. Today is November 8th, 2023. I am one of your hosts, Kyle. I'm another host, Mo. Hey, I'm Kelly. Hey, and hey. Uh, Angel's out shooting deer in the face. Correct. Yes. Sp- specifically in the face. Apparently. Yes, very specifically. Apparently yeah. that's in our honor. <laughs> yes. Did he say honor or did he say he would think of us as he did it? Oh, you said, well, okay, sorry, it was in Mo's honor. Yeah. I think that came out yeah. later, it was in Mo's honor. I was definitely honored, yeah. No one, no I think one... he was, I think he said he was going to think about me and shoot the deer in the face. Okay. <laughs> I like to think it was about me, but that's okay. I can be delusional, so. Oh, all right. It was worded in such a way that you could take it as he was talking to you personally, yes. whoever you are. That's how he delivers his messages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's off hunting yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, Mo, you want to kick us off on what you did in guns? I sure do. Uh, I went to an IPSC match at the RA center, which is in right in Ottawa. And I've been there before and I've talked about it before. It's a pretty cool place. It's in the, uh, uh, basement of a community center which is really different and neat and uh it's one range and and they uh it was six stages and they do a great job of like um changing things up in between each stages right like uh, i think i've mentioned it it's like a it's like a play right they're moving sets around and it's pretty neat how they do it and um so yeah it was six stages and it moved along really nicely I shot with some friends and uh the highlight for me was um i did okay and i hadn't shot in a while so the double action pulls were i I could i there were some shots that i i would have wanted to have back so i know there's definitely that they needed more trigger time so uh but the highlight for me there was one stage and it was the very last one it was a quick draw two shots on target stage and uh and also if you won i think they gave you um $50 $50 towards a membership there or towards a future membership nice. there. Yeah. So um, mm-hmm. it happened to be that I was the last shooter in my squad on the last, on the last stage. And I kept telling myself, I, I have a good job. I'll, I have all the, I'm, I'm usually a pretty negative person, but when it comes to Ipsic shooting, like my draw is good. I put the time in and it's, it's, when it's right it's smooth and fast and and good so i just told myself get a good draw and i did and i got i got two alphas and i ended up out of 66 shooters with the third best hit factor so i and i did it and i did it in 1.22 seconds and two alphas i was like thrilled absolutely thrilled that's awesome yeah it was like the biggest rush because it was like bam bam and i looked and i look and there's the two holes in the middle and i'm like ah lovely (laughs) so yeah that that felt obviously that felt really good now and overall it was a fun match there was lots of um you know, for an indoor range, one indoor range, they, they do a lot of movement and stuff. So it's it's really creative. Um, they even have a little bridge that they move around and stuff. And they have lots of movers and um, so stuff like that, stomp plates. And um, so and I think they have like three more matches this year. They usually do four, four during the winter. So I'll definitely go back for that. Um then what else did I do? I signed up for another match that'll be this week, and this one will be in Quebec, at, in uh, Joliet, Quebec, at the Lonatier range, and I've been there lots of times. And uh, it was on practice score on, on Sunday night. We registered, and it sold out within the first five minutes, which was really – it was cool to see. And uh, there's 95 shooters, so it's going to be a – it's going to be a really good turnout. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be on Saturday. Um, I mentioned the nine mil ammo uh, last week that I was keeping my eye on and Tenda ended up putting uh, 
the Federal American Eagle 9 mil 124 on sale for uh, 360 for a thousand. So I ordered uh, two cases um, and that should be arriving tomorrow. And um, I've never shot the Federal before. I usually have PMC or Blaze, uh, PMC Bronze or uh, Blazer. Um, was it CCI Blazer? And uh, so, but I, I'm sure it's good. I don't, I don't imagine it's there's any issues with it. Um, and I looked the next day and it was already sold out. So at that price, people uh, definitely snapped it up. Yeah, it's a decent price. Yeah, well, for these days, any 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 cases of a thousand for under four hundred is is now a good price. Like for for one twenty four, right? You can get one fifteen uh, for cheaper, but I, I shoot one twenty four in my gun, and I never have any issues, and it's all it's all good. So um, that's really a bit. It, I just did some more dry fire practice. Um, that's that's it for me how about you kelly um pretty quiet week so um not much i didn't do anything last week other than commit to uh at the end of november i'm going to be doing a club level att yeah we're still doing them so i we just did an orientation with uh two groups of people and so with those groups of people we're going to be doing a club level at the end of the month so people can bring their handguns so i'm going to be doing that with uh, ari who is our does a lot with our club so do more and more at our local club which is good uh, I think is he the MD? Is he the MD? Sorry, is he the MD for the IPSC matches? There, or is it somebody else? Uh, it's him. Patrick uh, is taking over IPSC as well. So it's Patrick, um, who is one of our listeners. Yeah. So uh, Patrick, I think, is going to be taking it over at some point. And between Ari and Patrick, we have a couple of indoor matches that are going to be happening. Well, there's going to be one in December. Um, I have kind of committed to that one. And the next day is our two-week shoot, and I've kind of committed to that one as well. Apparently, they want me to come up for that. And what else? Mm. Yeah. So as I said, I've been taking people orientation, taking to the club for their probation shoots, showing them around, making sure that they're all prepped and safe and everything like that. I have a weekend with the girls. So all the girls that were part of the calendar shoot and putting everything together. Um, we, well, the executive, I don't know. So uh, we're going to be going out, not this weekend, but I believe it's next weekend. The calendar will be dropping soon. Watch for that. I'll be putting that on social media. What else? Hmm, yeah, I think that's about it. We got um, we got Maple Seed uh, Ontario Shoot Bosses. We're going to be we've already met um, last week, uh, but we're going to be meeting at the end of the month as well. We're going to be planning our 2024 season, and not only that. Next Tuesday night we have another She Shoots episode as well. So put it on your calendars. Um, save the day Tuesday at eight o'clock um, uh, Eastern Daylight Time. I have to switch now. We're into daylight mm-hmm. time. Uh, we have uh, one of our um, one of Canada's best shooters. So she is uh, Shannon Westlake is going to be coming and um, chatting with us. She does three positional shooting rifle. Does that remind you of something, Mo and and uh, Kyle? Hmm? Three positional shooting at 50 meters with a rifle. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm. it yeah. does. That was, so she just uh, she just went to the Pan Am Games and she's qualified for the 2024 Olympics. So it's we're going to be having her on, Shannon Westlake. It'll be great. So come and see us. December match is pay at the match. Future matches will be EMT. That's Patrick. See? He is listening. I bet yeah, he is, he is listening. So, yeah, that's me. Okay, Kyle, you're up. I'm going to let the dogs in because they're barking. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I went and trained with the sheriffs, Eddie County Sheriffs, again on Thursday after last week's show. And it was, for the most part, it was a different group of guys. And it went good. I pushed it well i yeah i pushed it a little hard on the classifier on the el presidente and pulled a mic but i was able to shoot it under six seconds oh, nice <laughs> <laughs> but I, I pulled the trigger and i'm like yeah no that one's not on there and no 
It didn't feel good, did it? <laughs> no, no, it didn't. <laughs> so yeah, okay, I pushed the edge on that one a little bit. And I got the Langdon, I believe it was Langdon Tactical 1301 that Buddy had bought that for some reason he said it wasn't run in target load. I took it out to the range, ran some one ounce, 1200 foot per second target load through it, and it it ran beautifully. Okay, good. I even, I, I had it right off my shoulder, just free air, and it cycled no problem. So I'm going to get the gun back to him probably tomorrow and be like, I don't know what you're doing, but it's it's working perfect. So he's probably still going to want to do some work to the load port and whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, and then been busy doing some other stuff that I'm actually not ready to talk about. So it'll involve some upcoming training and whatnot, and I will talk about it at a later date. Okay. There's so a something, yeah. <laughs> something that we can't partake in, it sounds like. For the most part, I would say no. I'm, I'm still trying to think of the Canadian twist for it. So <laughs> I don't know how it could happen in Canada, but it is kind of cool. But uh, we'll get on to upcoming events, which there's a there's check locally. There might be a few small ones coming up, some turkey shoots. But overall, competition season, I think it's done except for some indoor stuff. Major stuff's done. It's too cold. No, there's an indoor IPSC matches popping up now. So yeah. if you're if you're into that, yeah. uh, I didn't see any new any major news this week. It's been a quiet week. Nothing good. Nothing bad. Yeah. And uh, we'll get on to new gun stuff. New gun stuff is brought to you by Bullseye North. Need a new boomstick? Bullseye North is Canada's shooting superstore and a proud supporter of the CCFR. With a wide selection of guns and top trending gear for any shooter. And they have free shipping over $250. And But some exclusions apply like if you middle, live in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you can also subscribe to their weekly newsletter to get first access to the hottest deals. And uh, I was going through the website here today. And they have, I think everybody who owns a gun should have something like this. They have their gunsmith screwdriver set on for a hundred dollars. Nice. And, uh, for those who don't know, like the flatheads, your normal flathead, it just, it comes straight up to your point with the gunsmithing screwdriver. It ramps up. So you actually have a good parallel section of the flathead. And so you can get the right fit with that without marring up the screws on your gun. Nice. So uh, they have a whole bunch of stuff on for accessories. There's a couple of things on reloading and a bunch of actually GSG 16s as well on sale. But uh, in with the rest, there's uh, Tenda has the MegTac standard velocity 22 long rifle on for $400. So it's basically. Two hundred dollars off for a case of five thousand. Wow! So, seems like a pretty good deal. And I, I've been shooting the Magtech nine mil, and it it's been good. And then, I run guns is bringing in the Henry Homesteader semi-auto nine mil. Um, but you were looking at this, weren't you, uh, Mo? Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be restricted because of the the barrel, but that's uh, a shame. Yeah, but it's kind of neat. It is kind of neat looking for a for a carbine, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, you save one five round and one ten round magazine. So I wonder, I wonder what magazines that's using. Is that it's not Glock? Is it? Hmm. It doesn't say in the details, does it? No. Doesn't look like it says. It's interesting. It says it comes with a ten round mag, so it's got to be some kind of pistol mag. But yeah, there's that. And then we have the MBT field stock, three hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And you can have it for Remington seven hundred single or short action, or you can even get it for the Ruger American. Nice. Yeah, it's a good price for a stock for a nice MDT stock. Hey, MDT are reaching out there looking for uh, shooters, sponsored shooters. Have you, mm. did you notice that? I did not. So they are, they're doing it both in the center fire and rim fire 
So go to their website, go and click on the sponsorship. You can fill out the application. <laughs> Not sure I, what the end date is. They just put it, they just posted it this week. Okay. I do know that uh, Apex Optics has opened up their team applications as well. And that ends on November 17th. Uh, and then there's this uh, Northern Elite Firearms having a Black Friday sale on Scorpion Outdoors products. So they have some scopes on for on sale you get you know three to nine by 40 40 45 bucks off okay deals to be had there if you're on a budget and yeah okay and the last has yeah. some uh kid bolts back in stock excellent nice speaking of kid and Delask. I'm just saying, speaking of kid and Delask. <laughs> that's, that's it? Okay. Yep. Let's see. Okay, so 250 bucks for a uh, scalloped nitride bolt or 220 bucks for just a nitride finish, not non scalloped. I like scalloped anything, so. Oh, it makes it look fancier. Yeah. I think so. And then. MD Charlton is bringing in the new Sig Sauer Cross Magnum. Oh. Yeah. So, looks like contact your local dealer for pricing availability. But, uh, yeah, the Cross Magnum bolt action rifle. Looks pretty good. Folding stock. Yeah. And that is it for uh, new gun stuff. See, Jason's asking. Uh, Nine mil PCCs are hot now. Who's got the best one? Mm, that's a good question. Is that the best one we can the actually best one? Pur- purchase in Canada? Or yeah, I would, I would overall? say that's the question, yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so you have to have the trifecta. You have to have uh, the trifecta of accuracy, reliability, and then also the price point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that we're still going to go with the Ruger. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's not. I don't think it's overpriced and seems fairly reliable. Reliable and it's yeah, good old Ruger. Out of all of them, it's definitely not let's say the sexiest one, <laughs> but uh, yeah. See, I was kind of leaning towards overall. Just and I mean, it might be still too early to tell, but the uh, the Lockhart, the Raven, the Raven Nine. I know. Yeah, Taylor, it's too early to tell all of that. I know Taylor's hat while well, he won Nash PCC nationals with that. And I, I, the controls are much more user friendly on that one than the Ruger, but then the Ruger, you can get these like, uh, ATRS is making us a new stock for, for the Ruger that sh- helps with the controls and that. So, yeah. Okay. And then for quirkiness, you can go with a sub 2000, right? Yeah, that's uh, Tony's favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if you want accuracy, reliability, and price, and competitiveness. So, yeah, I think yeah. That you're going And they have different flavors of it now, right? All the different. Mm-hmm. Uh... Well, especially on availability. I think Ruger wins out on the, uh, the availability. Mm. They seem to be everywhere. And... Yeah, most of the other ones, they've got some kind of issue where you got to do work to them to actually make them run, where the Ruger does seem to run out of the box. Uh, we do not have a main topic this week. We're all busy, so we dropped the ball there and didn't come up with a topic. And we'll go right into listener feedback. Hey, wasn't Tony supposed to come up with a topic and come on the show? He is scheduled next week. He's That's scheduled it. for next week. Yes. No, I didn't so, look forward to next week. Sorry. There you, go. <laughs> you, just, next week. you just previewed him for next week. There. Yeah. So there cool. we go. That's next week's show. We do have a main topic, and uh, that'll be Tony coming on. Super fan. <laughs> yeah, super fan Tony and his journey as a newish firearm owner in sport shooting. Journey so. from Milan to Mix. <laughs> so that'll be that'll be a good episode for sure. Cool. Uh, I did not really see anything on Facebook, uh, on the comments here. Tony's saying, uh, wait for the Smith & Wesson response. Yeah, hopefully that makes it to Canada. I think that would be really good if it was able to make it to Canada. 
Yeah. I don't know. I'm a I'm I'm a negative Nelly when it comes to compared I'll, to I'll wait. <laughs> Compared to every other, most other options in Canada right now, I think it'd be a good option. Mm -hmm. That's no, without holding it there. or shooting it. Right? Mm -hmm. so. uh, we didn't get any thing. emails this week. No, but, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say their previous idea. Um, their previous sorry my throat's going uh just uh some of their just their previous stuff didn't work out all that well so i'm just saying then i'll wait and see tony if you do buy it take it out run a couple thousand rounds through it and let me know how it goes sounds good uh we did get a uh, <laughs> a few youtube comments so the first one is from Brent Eichel, 7661. I'm the opposite of Adriel, more of a buy high, sell low guy, <laughs> and I prefer a gun post. Easier to search and find what you're after. You do have a seller rating as well. Mine is five stars because I can't negotiate. Nice, nice. Oh, that was, that was feedback for me talking about where to sell stuff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thank At least you. he's honest with himself, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Tony says, tell Tracy we need a CCFR beer glass. And they had those. They, they had the ceramic beer mugs for a bit, didn't they? I use those for coffee. I have two of them. Yeah. Beer, coffee. They're, I'm sure they're good for either. <laughs> like a burgundy one and a green no, one. No, I think he's looking for an actual beer stein mug yeah. kind of glass thing, right? Whereas we have the tankards which I use for coffee. Yeah, um, yeah. I drink more coffee than beer. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but. So we're currently switching over the CCFR store to um, in-house, which means that it'll be much more, we'll be able to, we'll be able to, uh, to monitor our sales and we'll be able to monitor our stock and quantities and, Okay. There's a whole bunch of new stuff that's coming up as well. If you go and have a look on either the CCFR or if you go and have a look, on, actually go and have a look on the CCFR webpage. There's all kinds of new stuff. It's really cool. Um, there's a really cool, it's like a hockey jersey. Nice. Yeah, it's really cool. On yeah. leggings. Leggings for women. I'm going ah. to get a pair. Any tag tops? Why? Do you want one? No, it's a joke. <laughs> Do the leggings have belt loops? Uh, I have no idea. I'm. I should go and look and see if they do. They should I have, have belt loops. I have. Sh I have leggings for shooting. I have uh, five eleven. For and then I also have. I can't remember the other brand. They had to come from the U.S. So. All of us girls get together and then we actually do a big buy because it's so expensive. So we put it all together and then we share around the shipping. <laughs> it still costs us a hundred dollars for a pair of leggings. It's craziness. But it would be yeah. more more if you were doing an individual, right? So correct. But they have pockets. Yeah. They have pockets and they have belt loops, and then we can use them when we shoot it's like it's really neat. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. But no, there are there are tank tops. So Mo, if you would like a tank top. Go or even it. leggings or even <laughs> leggings with the ccfr i don't think these ones have belt loops i don't think i don't think i have the uh, appropriate midsection for a tank top to be honest so well muffin never mind <laughs> <laughs> muffin is muffin is correct yes it, uh, it, i am it, too it's so like a dozen muffins muffin is so. a shape and muffins are delicious there you go you're delicious <laughs> thank you thank you oh Nice. Well, we might be going to a 5.11 store on Saturday. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and the leggings is on the list for Crystal with belt loops and there pockets. You go. There you go. Uh, there, so if she wants another place to order them from, I'll let me know because I like 5.11. They have the reinforced knees and sides, but they don't have pockets. And mm. I like the other leggings better. They just fit better, and not only that, they have side pockets. Gotcha. With the belt we, loops. With the well, you got to have the belt loops. Yeah, you have to actually have the belt loops if you're going to shoot. You need a place to yeah. put your belt. Yep. So. All right, and we got a another uh, comment on YouTube on Grisan testing and review, and 
sad sad is saying where did you get your belt from and that is the safari land els belt yeah and yeah actually they're much more available in canada now than when i got that i got that off a friend who pulled it off a table who yeah but i know barton's carries them i'm sure i know a bunch of other stores actually carry the els belts and you can actually get the clips right off amazon Mm -hmm. so if you can't find them locally Mm -hmm. but that is it for youtube i haven't seen anything on uh instagram discord's been uh Mm -hmm. more or less quiet for this week uh i had posted up some shotgun shells i made last week but uh it'd be nice to be more active on discord yeah, but it comes and goes. It's people's got yeah. people got lives and I'm, whatnot too. Yeah, I'm not active at all. No, you're not. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am on there. I'm on a couple of different. You're no. a lurker. I'm not even a lurker. I'm a I'm a once a year visitor. <laughs> <laughs> I might not even don't maybe less even know what that. it is. Maybe less than that. <laughs> it's for us young kids, there, Mo. Yeah, I don't know anything about. It. <laughs> I don't know anything about the accordion site. I don't know anything about uh, it. Uh, uh, Jason Sterling has a uh, he has a spicy topic. Why are can- the Canadian made semi auto two two three so crappy and expensive? You just it. told us why. It's Canadian made. Hello. Well, no, Canada. we can't go off I that because we kidding. can't. I am kidding. Canadian Canada used to have like really really good, good. manufacturers until a ban came and then everyone rushed to find something that would go around the ban and figured instead of taking the design they had to re-engineer it and make it stupid that is correct (laughs) and there we are there quick quick topic right there (laughs) Uh, but there are stuff going on on discord and we have a number of channels there so if you want to join there is a link in the comments and we are also on player and patreon as well even though we may not post up there regularly but we have that there as well if you want to support the show Hmm. Uh, we also have a cabela's link and we will try for next week to get the list of october purchases but uh, if you are buying something from cabela's online you can go to our website we have a link right on the main page in the sidebar click that and we'll get a little kickback from your cabela's purchase and once a month we will go through them and share what people have bought and yeah i'm interested to see if anybody purchases access yeah. after our last show and then the um the cabela's mat after yeah. our last well show. i think that cabela's mat that was a, a wednesday it was a Wednesday yeah. special. It was half yeah, price. I so. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Again, I think that we need to get some um, royalties on those. Yeah, hmm. a little extra kickback on those mats. I'm sure computer contribute quite a lot to those sales. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. We do. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to send us an email, you can send us an email to slamfireradio at gmail dot com, and we will. Uh, Read it on the air. And uh, Jason Zane, the meat grinder from Cabela's, is on his list. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, they, got, they got some good meat grinders. Uh, shout outs, recommendations. Oh, Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, I have a shout out. I'm going to be saying thank you to Kelly Kincaid and Kyle Kincaid because they're going to be hosting me this weekend. I'm going hunting on nice. Saturday for deer. I'm not taking a week off this year like I had hoped. So I'm just going to go out when I can. So I'm going to be hunting on Sunday. Wish me luck. I will shoot a deer in the face in your honor. Yay. Uh, (laughs) See, uh, I'm not sure if you meant that honor to Kyle or to myself, but I'm going to just go walk away from this. It's always in your honor, Mo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, for me, my shout out is to the folks that put on the RA match, uh, Bob, John, Ray. I know I'm missing people, but uh, it was a great match. Then they're great guys, a lot of fun. And uh, thank you. Uh, I don't have anything for this week. So with that, we're going to sign off. So go join our Discord 
Watch us on Facebook, YouTube, and Player. Join the CCFR, and we will see you next week. Good night. Good night, Adriel. Good night, Dave. Buenas noches. Buenas tardes. <laughs> bon nuit. So if you have any comments or questions for the show, please send an email to slamfireradio at gmail.com. Now go grab a gun and shoot something. When the talking is over, it's time to get a gun.